Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and today I will show you how to transfer files from your phone to an SD card and vice versa. So to get started, let's open up the files app which will be in the Samsung folder. So my files. From here, we're gonna choose either the SD card or internal storage. I'm gonna start with internal. And then here you can see a bunch of folders. So key thing to keep in mind, TCIM folder will have any kind of photos, videos that you have captured with the device. Then below that I have downloads folder which will contain anything that, that you have downloaded either through a web browser, uh, email, it will be saved all in here. Then we have um, pictures which usually contains screenshots and the rest of the folders are primarily empty assuming you haven't saved anything in there or there isn't some kind of specific app that will be saving something in those folders. And also, SD card will have basically the same folders as well, with the key difference of probably being empty, assuming you haven't chose to save by default to the SD card. Now for me, I believe my photos are located in the, in the internal storage, and yep, there they are. So once you find your files, uh, I'm going to be using photos as you can see, as an example, you want to select them. So you select them by holding it, like so. As you can see, once you hold one, uh, it will be selected, and then you can simply tap on additional ones to select more. Now you also have the option to select all right over here. And if you want, you can select all and deselect ones that you might not want, or simply go back and select the entire folder, like so. So again, you hold it the same way you did with just a single file, and it gets selected along with everything that is inside. And once you have it selected, uh, whichever way you want it, you have two options. You can move it or copy it. So choose whichever option you want. Move will completely remove those uh, photos or well, files from where they are right now and move them to a new location of your choice. While copy will create additional set of the same files and the, the set that has been created additionally will be then moved to your desired location while the old ones will stay in the location that they are right now. So I'm gonna go with move. And once you select move, you can see you can move it here. So right now it gives you the option to move wherever you are located. And so I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna move to the SD card. And not, I'm just gonna drop it right in here. So move here. As you can see, there is a folder that has just appeared. If I can find it, where is it? There we go, the new. So you can see the N, that's for new. And this is the camera folder with the four photos and or five photos that were inside and because I chose to move it if I go back to the internal storage under DCIM you can see that this folder is completely gone from here now so that is how you remove any kind of file the process is basically the exact same for any kind of file folder uh, whatever it is it works the same way so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching